I met him when I got off the, the, co the boat. And I thought, wow, America is an extraordinary country. <laughs> How did you meet? Just like that. He was on the, when I came off the boat, he was on the Le Quai, you know, on the dock. Yeah. And did he start talking to you? He yeah, said, oh, either way, I talked to him. I mean, he, you know, did he you was remember? striking and I was striking and uh, we just started. And he invited me for tea the same day, which I went. And then I went every day for tea. Then eventually I moved to the Hotel Saint Regis where he was staying in New York and we had a long lasting relationship and he introduced me to the whole world and he introduced me to art also, you know, he was a genius, phenomenal culture, he was the most funny man there is, he was, he was a genius and to be next to a genius is rare and captivating. So what do you remember about being with Dili? Any moments, anything that was... Oh, all of it. You know, surprise, surprise. The things he would say. He would say one thing from here and one from there and they would meet somehow. Extraordinary imagination. And people would come to ask him question, or oh, master, master, can you explain this? And he would. And then he said, I'm not a painter, which made us laugh. He said, I'm a writer. And I don't know if you know, but he's a brilliant writer. Yes, his book. Though he could not write, I mean, spell anything, but, you know, so, I mean, unique, unique. It's like if you think of Proust, you know, a unique way of seeing the world. What happened is that he was, you know, kind of a clown also, which I like. And so he made many, you know, funny stuff. And the world of art sometimes did not take him seriously, which is absurd, because they don't know anything. I remember MoMA had a show of surreal art about 20 years ago, and they did not include Dali. And Dali is probably the best artist of the surreal movement. And he was so handsome, also, so handsome. He was dashing, really striking. Oh, yeah. He was a dandy, elegant. I mean, he, he just knew how to create. He was theatrical when he well, came. Theatrical. Yeah, he knew how to create out of his life. Theater, but every minute, you know, not theater. It lasts two hours, and then you come down and you remove your makeup. It lives in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extraordinary. Is that when you uh, got your passion for arts and acting? Right? No, probably uh, no earlier, because in Paris I started to go to acting class. No earlier. I mean, the reason I met all those artists is because I was drawn to art. You know, so no, my passion was as a child. As a child, I started to collect things. You know, but I could afford cigar box, I remember, you know, that people used to throw out. And I think that's very symbolic because probably cigar box meant emancipation. Men are emancipated and women are not. So, you know, it was my, I guess, maybe masculine side. You know, I, I wanted to be free. And women are not free per definition, or especially in those years. And then I collected little print when I could. And then I remember maybe the first painting I bought was from a Spanish artist called Guixart, unknown. And then two years later, he got the first prize of the Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo Biennale. So I said, wow. You know, good taste. <laughs> no, no, good eye. <laughs>